Well, hello there, Miss Shatanya. How are you doing today? I'm doing wonderful. How are you? You know, I'm always doing great. And I'm doing even better when it's the second Monday of the month because I know what's going to happen. We're going to have some healthy eating with Shatanya. Uh, so I'm excited to have you uh, back on the show. And folks, I want you to remember every second Monday of the month, Healthy Eating with Chitanya segment will, will uh, be on. So make sure you tell people that need um, some healthy eating tips to tune in. And um, Chitanya, this month is uh, Heart Month, right? Right. So you're going to be talking um, a lot about and giving some tips on uh, healthy eating, things that can help your heart. So uh, we will just get started. I'm going to try to make a heart some kind of way. <laughs> right, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> so tell us uh, what's so good about healthy eating during heart month. Well, let me just start off about um, giving just a little background with heart disease. So of course, we know that heart disease is the leading cause of death among men and women, especially women. With women, um, it's the number one killer with women, okay? And um, it also, each year, your heart, heart disease contributes to one-fourth um, of deaths. Oh, wow. So, and about $363 billion is contribute to heart disease. So that's a lot of money when we speaking of, you know, um, not taking care of our heart and we spending all the dollars to make sure that we don't have heart, heart attacks or strokes. So, and then there are several risk factors that um, leads to heart disease, such as diabetes, um, being overweight, uh, poor eating habits, um, being physical um, inactive active and um, excessive alcohol use. So those are some several um, risk factors that play into um, leading up to heart disease. So how can we make lifestyle changes for a healthy heart? So I'm gonna get into that. So the first thing is, Cedric, is we want to eat foods that are nutrient dense. And I know you hear me talk about this. Seems like every time I come on, I'm talking about, you know, eating foods that are nutrient dense. But um, like I said before, eating is medicine. So food is medicine to us, just like we take medication to treat certain disease. Well, food is can also be medicine for, for our bodies as well. Um, we want to eat at least five servings of fruits and or vegetables. And like I said the last time, eating a rainbow of colors, because the deeper the color, the more nutrient dense that uh, fruit or vegetable is going to be, um, because it adds a lot of benefits to our bodies with certain nutrients. The next thing is adding whole grains um, to your uh, lifestyle. We want to add whole grains because how whole grains benefit us is is it's going to add fiber to us. And of course, we know that fiber regulates, it's going to keep us regulated. Also, fiber is going to help with our blood cholesterol. And cholesterol is another factor that um, contributes to heart disease or stroke or heart attack. And um, also, by eating um, a high fiber diet or foods that um that are whole grains, um, it can also give us a sense of fullness. So we won't eat so much. <laughs> um, the next thing um, is limit your saturated fats. Um, of course, you know, we like to eat out and go to uh, fast food restaurants and, um, you know, eat those high fatty foods. But we want to limit our saturated fats to no more than 10% of our caloric plan, okay? So um, all the cakes and pies, you know, that we had during the holidays, we want to try to start limiting it now um, and throughout the rest of the year. And then also um, 
adding more of your unsaturated fats, your polyunsaturated fats and your monounsaturated fats um, with the, uh, you know, whenever you cook using olive oil or canola oil, corn oil, peanut oil, those are your more healthier fats. And, um, and then also foods that are rich in omega-3s like salmon, trout, um, herring, mackerel, um, those type of foods that are rich in omega-3s. And then um, also omega-6s. So um, those two, the omega-3s and omega-6, they are good for heart health. Um, and also they're good for eye health um, as well. I just learned that one. Um, but, um, and then we want to get active. That's the biggest thing. We have to stay active, <laughs> staying active at least three times a week for 30 minutes. If you're losing weight, if you're trying to maintain your weight, then you increase it to an hour. Okay. Um, and then, uh, trying to maintain your weight, you can, you know, maintain your weight through a, a healthy lifestyle, being physically active. Um, cutting back on um, the, you know, high saturated foods, um, high uh, the high sodium foods, cutting back on on all of those things. And, and if you are a smoker, then, you know, try to quit smoking. Um, smoking plays a, a, you know, a big part in cardiovascular disease, um, controlling your blood pressure. If you have uh, blood pressure problems, um, we want to try to control your blood pressure uh, and also drinking alcohol in moderation and then making sure that you manage your stress. Because mm -hmm. I know with everything that's going on right now, um, you know, our stress level is on a high. So, and, you know, things you can manage stress, just taking a walk. Um, you know, if you are working every now and every now and again, take your walk you know, stretch um, while you're working, um, do some yoga, do some meditation, but, you know, trying to manage that stress, that stress level. Well, um, those are all great tips, all great things. Um, now it's about how to get all that in, right? <laughs> um, <laughs> uh -oh. I mean, it's just all, of, you know, all a part of our, lifestyle. It's just, you know, trying to live a healthy lifestyle, not only for the heart, but, you know, for all your chronic diseases, just trying to, you know, take those preventative measures. Sure. And, and for your long-term health also. Exactly. For, yeah. Um, and sometimes it won't catch up with you when you're younger. It starts catching up with you later on in life. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. So let me run in my kitchen right now and throw out all those pies and cakes and <laughs> treats. And <laughs> well, notice I said limit. You want to yeah. limit your saturated fats. So, yeah. So everything is in moderation. I'm, I'm going to always say that everything is in moderation and portion control. Not sure. unless you are you know, diagnosed with a certain um, chronic disease, then that's when you're looking into, okay, you know, what foods do I have to limit in order to, you know, preserve your life, in order to preserve your health? Sure. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, and I like that you say in moderation, uh, but let, let's talk about that part a, a little bit, why that's so important. And, and let me clarify. You know, I know sometimes people say, well, I'm going to do it cold turkey. Mm-hmm. And they do it cold turkey for a short period of time and then right. decrease back in. So why do you keep emphasizing uh, moderation? I emphasize it because whenever you, let's say if, you know, let's say I like chips. So I eat chips in moderation because if I cut back completely on it, then of course, you know, if I'm trying to lose weight, I'm going to start losing weight because that is something that I eat every day and maybe, you know, two or three times a day. So by cutting, by eliminating something from your diet plan, then you're going to start losing the weight. So 
eating those things that you love to eat, you can eat it in moderation. So that way it can still be in your diet plan. And, you know, and then, you know, while you're trying to manage your weight, then you can manage your weight because you're only eating it in moderation. You know, every now and again, let's say um, if you're if I'm eating chips, maybe maybe twice a month or maybe three times a month, then, you know, it's fine. That's your own moderation. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. But and then also. If you have a bag of chips, Mm -hmm. another, you know, another definition of in moderation, if you have a bag of chips, you know, now you have the big bags, whether you go to the store and you see, you know, the grab bags on the, by the cash register. That's mm-hmm. what that's what gets you. They have all of your junk foods right by the cash register. And, you know, you grabbing it because you're hungry. <laughs> and that's, you know, something that we tell people, do not go to the store hungry. Make sure, you know, you are well nourished and, you know, have food on you in your system. But um, you don't have to eat that whole bag. You can eat half of the bag. That's another moderation. Eat half the bag instead of the whole bag. Or if you're drinking, you know, a pop, don't drink the whole 20 ounce soda. You know, drink some of it. Don't drink it all. So that's another form of eating, you know, uh, high fat, fatty foods or high sugary foods in moderation. Yeah, I do like the idea of not having to drink a whole can of um, soda. I, I'm not a big soda drinker, but every now and then I'll have a craving for a Coke um, and right. I only have um, not even a whole can um, mm-hmm. just to get that flavor. And then uh, I'm done. And I, it reminds me, I was on a flight and uh, the flight attendant asked, do you want the whole can or do you just want just a little cup? Right. And, you know, in those circumstances, I was, I know, just give me the little cup. Yeah. Um, versus that whole can. Um, so th- the month of, of uh, well, this month is all about heart health. And um, so what other things can people do to uh, help their nutrition? Like, I, I like that you gave some examples of saturated fats of pies and cakes and unsaturated fats, you know, cooking with olive oil and corn oils and Omega threes, you know, normally like salmon. Um, mm-hmm. What are some other examples in those categories that people can use to um, either cook with or or eat instead of? So, when I spoke about whole grains, um, you can incorporate like um, uh, your breads. You know, making sure that you that you are purchasing your whole wheat bread and making sure that it's, you know, your first ingredient says whole grain. Um, With rice, you can do brown rice. I know a lot of people don't like brown rice, but I think it's all in the preparation method of brown rice. So you can prepare brown rice instead of the white rice. And don't get me wrong, white rice is, is not bad. It's how we prepare it and what we put on our rice. That's what makes it fatty Um, with, you know, when we uh, smothering some meat and, you know, with the gravy, the gravy is what makes the rice fat, fattening. And also your noodles, you know, using the whole grain noodles. Um, And then also um, whenever you're snacking, you can snack on nuts. Um, like almonds, uh, walnuts, uh, uh, pistachios, and I hope I said that right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we those got different, it. yeah, those different nuts that, you know, that are high in um, omega-3s. Uh, yes, yeah, omega-3s. It's either omega-3s or omega-6s, omega-6, so I'm going to say both of them. Um, so somebody will come back. Well, she said it was omega three when it's this one. So, but yeah, it's either one. So you can do nuts as a snack. Um, and then, um, by adding, um, fruits, you know, we talked about fruits last uh, week, 
-hmm. fruits and vegetables for a snack instead of, you know, eating the high saturated snacks like cakes and pies and cookies, um, you know, while you're sitting at your desk uh, working, um, you can, you know, do more of your healthier snacks nice. and um, just making sure that you are eating a balanced meal, eating from the plate, you know, making sure you have your your dairy, your protein, your uh, fruit, your vegetable um, and your grains, just making sure you're eating a, a balanced meal and not, you know, a whole, a big old plate of meal, but, you know, the, the right portion size nice. and portioning your foods. Yeah, that's the key right there, because you can have fruit, but you have a big tub of fruit um, right. that can kill your sugars. <laughs> yeah. So, that's you know, a lot of people, they eat fruit, a lot of fruit and, you know, say, so, OK, well, fruit is, you know, I'm fruit is not fattening. But also what you have to realize that fruit have calories. <laughs> right. So the more fruit you eat, you know, you're still getting the calories, you know, so mm -hmm. if let's say if if your caloric plan is only 1800 calories a day and, you know, you're constantly, you know, eating fruit because fruit is also portioned mm -hmm. um, like I'm going to say grapes. I always use grapes. Sometimes people just, you know, take grapes and you might be watching TV and you just eating your grapes. But the right portion size for grapes is 17 grapes. So anytime I eat grapes, I count them out. <laughs> I, oh. really <laughs> I really do. I really do. I count them out. And just like, you know, like with fruits, like apples, oranges, um, bananas, you want to try to get the more, you know, smaller apples and your oranges. See, like I have a I have an apple here today and my little apple is small. <laughs> <laughs> that is a small little. Uh, my grandfather used to, my grandma used to call those tight apples. <laughs> yeah. So it's, you know, it's all in portioning your, your food. So and and balancing, making sure you, you know, you are really eating a balanced meal and then try to get some green vegetables in because, you know, your, your green vegetables have, um, it's really nutrient, um, dense with those green vegetables, you know, you're getting some calcium um, with your green vegetables. And, you know, I don't know if people realize, but not only can you get calcium from your, you know, dairy products, but also your green vegetables. And as women, we need, you know, calcium for our bones and not just women, but men too. Um, you know, calcium plays a big part with your, your bone health. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so heart health um, is the focus for, for this month. And uh, we know that uh, no one can live without their hearts. Oh, no. <laughs> um, the biggest muscle. <laughs> is that heart? Yes. So we need to make sure that we are taking care of it. We need to make sure that we limit our saturated fats and add in more unsaturated fats, make sure that we get our whole grains, uh, make sure that we um, are eating five um, uh, servings of fruits and vegetables uh, every day and get in our exercise by trying to be active at least three times per week for 30 minutes. You know, stop smoking. Um, mm -hmm. I, know it's, I know it's hard, it's addicting, uh, but it's definitely uh, worth it. Uh, manage your stress. Um, Shatanya says by uh, taking a walk, doing some yoga, doing some meditation, all those things can help you uh, be heart healthy. When you eat those grapes, only 17, you <laughs> can be 18 or 19, <laughs> 17 grapes, all right? <laughs> So, yes. <laughs> yes. I like that. Um, so audience, if you have comments, you have something that you'd like Shatanya to address on our next segment, make sure you put it in the in the comments and uh, send us a message and we'll make sure we get that in. Uh, as always, the second Monday of the month, it's going to be healthy eating with Shatanya. So thank you guys very much for tuning in tonight. I'm excited about another segment of Healthy Eating with Shatanya. So uh, thank you guys and make sure you have a good evening. Bye-bye. Thanks, Shatanya. You're welcome. Thank you for having me.